Nasim Taleb may love many films covering various subjects. For instance, he praised Lucino Visconti's film The Leopard for exemplifying skin in the game with a real diamond. However, the films in this list are particularly interesting to Taleb and his fans, as they either align with his ideas or provoke new perspectives on them. Taleb, a renowned modern thinker, focuses on risk, uncertainty, decision-making, human biases, unpredictability, probability, and randomness in his writings. Let's delve into these films. Number 1, Rashomon. Directed by Akira Kurosawa, it is a film that Taleb would undoubtedly appreciate for its exploration of human bias and the subjectivization of factual accuracy. Taleb is deeply interested in explaining events in hindsight very simplistically, and Rashomon vividly illustrates this concept. The film presents a single event, a murder, from multiple conflicting perspectives, highlighting how individuals add more information to explain events through their own eyes and to their own profit. It reveals how different people can witness the same event yet recall and interpret it differently, demonstrating the fallibility of human perception and memory. Rashomon ultimately challenges the notion of objective truth and shows how narratives, theories, journalism, and histories can be constructed based on subjective interpretations of events, rather than concrete facts. Number 2, A Night to Remember. Directed by Roy Ward Baker, it is a film that Taleb would likely appreciate for its illustration of how all mathematical models and respective plans can fail disastrously in real life due to simple unknown variables. The film depicts the sinking of the RMS Titanic, a disaster caused by the ship striking an iceberg. Leading up to the tragedy, the Titanic was believed to be unsinkable, with its design and safety features giving passengers and crew a false sense of security. Taleb often emphasizes the dangers of overconfidence and the limitations of predictive models, and A Night to Remember serves as a stark reminder of these concepts. In the film, the captain, workers, engineers, planners, and even passengers are portrayed as being overconfident about the ship's safety, relying on the belief that the Titanic's design was flawless and that it was immune to disaster. However, their overconfidence is shattered when the ship collides with an iceberg, revealing the catastrophic consequences of unforeseen events. Taleb's ideas about the impact of rare and unpredictable events, known as black swans, are exemplified in the Titanic sinking. The disaster serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of relying too heavily on mathematical models and underestimating the role of randomness and uncertainty in shaping outcomes. Number 3, Borat. Directed by Larry Charles, it is a film that Taleb would find particularly intriguing due to its embodiment of his belief that jokes aren't jokes if they aren't offensive to someone. Borat is a satirical mockumentary featuring the character Borat Sagdiev, a fictional Kazakh journalist, who interacts with real people in unscripted scenes, often saying and doing things that are offensive or controversial. Taleb may find Borat not only a hilarious film but also a fascinating study in risk-taking and the concept of skin in the game. Borat's character is constantly pushing boundaries and taking risks by engaging in outrageous behavior that challenges social norms. Many of the film's funniest moments come from Borat's interactions with unsuspecting individuals who react in genuine and often unpredictable ways. Unlike scripted comedy, which follows a predetermined plan, Borat relies heavily on improvisation and real-life interactions, adding an element of unpredictability and risk to the humor. Taleb may appreciate the film's ability to generate laughter through its character's willingness to take risks and its unscripted nature, which he might find even funnier than more traditional, choreographed comedies.
Number 4, Being There. Directed by Hal Ashby, it is a film that Taleb would likely find fascinating for its exploration of how pure dumb luck or chance can elevate an ordinary person to extraordinary heights. The film follows Chance, a simple-minded gardener, who through a series of misunderstandings, is mistaken for a brilliant and insightful political and economic advisor, ultimately becoming a national celebrity and influencing powerful figures in society. Being there would resonate with his views on the unpredictability of success and the role of randomness in shaping outcomes. Chance's transformation from a gardener into a revered figure demonstrates how easily the public can be misled by appearances and narratives constructed by the media. The film's portrayal of how a simple truth can be hidden from the public, and how they can be swayed by a non-existent persona created by the media, aligns with Taleb's critique of the information age and its impact on society. The film's exploration of how easily the public can be influenced by media portrayals of individuals, even when those portrayals are entirely fabricated, would likely resonate with Taleb's ideas about the manipulation of information and the need for critical thinking in an increasingly complex world. Number 5, Slumdog Millionaire Directed by Danny Boyle, it is a film that Taleb would likely appreciate for its portrayal of how chance, accidents, and dumb luck can lead to unexpected success. The film follows Jamal Malik, a young man from the slums of Mumbai, who becomes a contestant on the Indian version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? and miraculously answers every question correctly. Slumdog Millionaire exemplifies the concept of the infinite monkey theorem, which posits that given enough time, a monkey randomly pressing keys on a typewriter could produce the complete works of Shakespeare. Similarly, Jamal's success on the game show is portrayed as a result of his life experiences and chance encounters, rather than any inherent skill or knowledge. Taleb, who is interested in probability and chance, would likely appreciate the film's exploration of how seemingly random events can come together to shape a person's destiny. Number 6, Train to Busan. Directed by Yun Sang-ho, it is a film that Nasim Taleb would find intriguing for its portrayal of a black swan event, where an unpredictable and catastrophic zombie outbreak occurs, leading to a situation of extreme uncertainty and unpredictability. The film follows a group of passengers on a train to Busan who must navigate the dangers of the zombie-infested world outside and the conflicts within the train. Train to Busan illustrates how people cope with uncertainty and try to survive in the face of a sudden and deadly threat. The characters in the film rely on simple shortcut heuristics, such as knowing the weaknesses or characteristics of zombies, to navigate the dangerous environment. Taleb often emphasizes the importance of simple rules and heuristics in decision-making, especially in situations where rationality may not be feasible or effective. In the world of Train to Busan, Rational thinking is often not an option, as the characters must react quickly and decisively to survive. The film highlights how simple human rule of thumbs can be highly efficient in dealing with uncertainty and fast-paced dangerous environments. Taleb may appreciate the film's portrayal of the challenges of decision-making in extreme circumstances and its exploration of how individuals adapt to survive in the face of overwhelming uncertainty. Number 7, Touching the Void Directed by Kevin MacDonald, is a film that Nasim Taleb would likely find compelling for its exploration of decision-making under extreme uncertainty. Based on a true story, the film follows two climbers, Joe Simpson and Simon Yates, as they attempt to climb the Sola Grande in the Peruvian Andes. Touching the Void is a powerful example of the consequences of decisions made under almost complete uncertainty and in unknown circumstances. The film highlights the importance of decision-making in high-stakes situations, where the wrong choice can have life-threatening consequences. One of the key themes of the film is the concept of skin in the game, as both climbers must face the consequences of their decisions in the harsh and unforgiving environment of the mountain. 
Talib often emphasizes the importance of having personal exposure to the consequences of one's actions, and touching the void exemplifies this concept as the climbers are forced to confront the life or death consequences of their decisions. Number 8, 13 Samidi. Directed by Jella Babluani, it is a film that Taleb would likely find intriguing for its portrayal of individuals engaging in a dangerous game that relies heavily on probability. The film centers around a young man who becomes involved in a deadly underground game reminiscent of Russian roulette, where players risk their lives for the chance to win a large sum of money. The characters in 13 Samidi may be seen as plain stupid for participating in such a risky game, even if the probability of surviving is higher than dying. Taleb often criticizes the over-reliance on probability and the failure to account for rare and unpredictable events. The nature of the game in the film highlights the dangers of blindly trusting in probabilities, as the consequences of losing are dire and immediate. Moreover, Taleb may see parallels between the game in 13 Samidi and various aspects of society, such as politics, economy, and financial markets, where individuals and institutions often take risks based on flawed or incomplete probabilistic models. The film serves as a cautionary tale about the limitations of probability and the importance of considering the potential consequences of our actions beyond mere statistical likelihoods. Number 9, A Lonely Place to Die Directed by Julian Gilby, it is a film that Taleb would likely find thought-provoking for its exploration of ethical dilemmas and decision-making under uncertainty. The film follows a group of mountaineers who discover a young girl trapped underground and must decide whether to risk their lives to save her, knowing that their actions could have deadly consequences. This film raises important questions about the value of individual lives versus the greater good. The film's central dilemma whether it is worth risking many lives to save one, forces viewers to confront their own ethical beliefs and consider the complexities of such situations. Taleb, who often emphasizes the importance of decision-making in uncertainty, may find himself grappling with the moral implications of the character's choices. Also, Taleb may be intrigued by the film's portrayal of how people justify their actions in hindsight, especially in situations of uncertainty. The characters in the film must make split-second decisions with incomplete information, leading to consequences that are both unforeseen and profound. Taleb may find this aspect of the film particularly relevant to his ideas about decision-making in uncertain and volatile environments. Number 10, Tumbad. Directed by Rahi Anil Barve and Avesh Prasad, it is a film that Nasim Taleb would likely find intriguing for its exploration of decision-making under uncertainty and the consequences of excessive greed. The film is set in the 19th century and follows the story of a man who ventures into a mysterious and dangerous world to find a hidden treasure. Tumbad serves as a metaphor for the dangers of greed and the unpredictability of one's actions. The protagonist's quest for wealth leads him to take risks and make decisions without fully understanding the consequences, highlighting the ignorance of probability despite some known variables. Taleb has expressed favorable views towards financial security but has criticized extreme wealth, as it often comes with high risks and dangers. Tumbad exemplifies this concept, as the protagonist's pursuit of wealth leads him into increasingly perilous situations, where minor mistakes can have catastrophic consequences. Taleb would likely appreciate Tumbad as a cautionary tale about the dangers of taking high risks without fully understanding the potential consequences, and the importance of recognizing the limits of one's knowledge and understanding.